morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. Well, you know, it's about midsummer here in Pennsylvania Zone 6. We're at the end of July, and you know, I planted some Kushaw squash back there in mid uh, May. And so today I wanted to go, go do a midsummer update on our Kushaw squash to see how it's growing. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. Well today it's a beautiful day, it's a low humidity day and you know it's really been a, a wet summer so far, a pretty cool summer so you know a lot of rain, a lot of cloudy days, a lot of sun so you know the garden's really flourishing and you know I, I planted these striped kushaw squash, this is what they look like, but I direct sowed these again as I mentioned back in middle of May, you want to wait till the last frost passes and you know, these Kushaw squash is something I grew for the first time in our gardens. I always like experimenting in our garden. And well, anyhow, these things have really taken off. They've spread far and wide. I've got quite a few uh, fruit growing out there. And uh, this is what they, the seeds look like here out of the pack. And uh, what I'm going to do is save the seeds for next year. And uh, that way I don't have to be buying a pack of these seeds anymore. But, but anyhow, I'm excited to show you how well they're growing out in the garden. So follow me along. So I'm over here where I planted my Kushaw squash and you know I planted them in one of my four foot by eight foot raised garden beds. I planted them in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. Also a couple times during the season I add my alfalfa pellets. I'll also make an alfalfa tea sometimes with my pellets and feed my plants but definitely early in the spring I uh, add alfalfa pellets to all my garden to help bump up the nutrients in the soil and add good organic matter. But but anyhow, this is this uh, Kushaw plant here has just taken over the garden. So anyhow, let's take a closer look at some of these beautiful squash. So this is just one of the many squash that we have here laying on the ground here. This is gravel from my creek down below. It's small pieces of shale. I have a real big one over there we'll take a close look at. But uh, yeah, this plant has just gotten huge. I also have some patty pan squash growing in there and some striped zucchini, which is also adding a lot of foliage to the garden. But over here I have this other real big one growing. Let's take a closer look at that. But these are just amazing. You can see the size of that compared to my hand. It's just a beautiful looking squash. You know they grow under the leaves which helps protect the squash from some of the hot summer sun.
Dale even likes hanging under the leaves because he gets shade. How you doing there, Bailey? What are you chewing on, huh? What are you doing there, boy? So let's take a look at some of the squash on the other side of the grazing. So over here on, on this side, I have various sizes growing. I have some small ones over here, but I also have quite a few large ones uh, also over here. So let's take a, a closer look at these as well. Cattle panel trellises in my garden next year and allow these vines to grow up and over my trellis. That way, you know, you can save space in your garden by growing uh, vertically. And again, here's another giant. I mean, these things are giant and they're going to be great for winter storage. They also produce these beautiful flowers. But I have at least a half a dozen or more of these growing over here on this side. I have like three under this area, but I just counted them. I have at least like a dozen on this side. And what's nice is that, you know, these will store in your garage and or a cool spot anywhere from, you know, three, four months. And so it's great way to s store some food for over the winter time. So over here on the other end, I have some, some more. Here's a smaller one growing. But let me encourage you to think about growing kushal squash in your garden. You can grow a lot of food for for the money, it's, it's, it's amazing the amount of food you can grow in your garden. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed our midsummer garden update on our striped kushal squash. I'm really looking forward to doing a harvest video on these and, you know, generally with some of my winter squash, I just take the whole squash and bake it bake the whole thing at like 400 degrees for at least an hour or more. You know, that way I find it, you don't have to peel them and cut them up and, and dice them and then either boil them or however you would prepare them. But yeah, I just take the whole thing, wash the outside and bake the whole thing and then cut it up. And that's probably how I'll prepare these. I may end up just cutting one in half and baking each half because these are, they're going to be pretty big. They're going to be at least 10 pounds, some of those. So. But uh, I'm just amazed at the, the amount of food you can grow and produce just by one little tiny seed. You know, I think I had like two plants there growing in my four foot by eight foot garden section and maybe I'll grow some more of that next year in some other areas. So anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And you can also visit us at Plant Smart Living. Dot com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.